Gospel Rabbi in the chapter. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, good afternoon. Can you introduce yourself, sir? Um, my name is Muiwa Johnson. Uh, I'm uh, one of the zone coordinators of Avatro Degakon to uh, Abatwa side. So all those areas. So I'm the zone coordinator of the area. So what can you tell us about the chairmanship position right here in the APC diaspora after someone else was claiming to be the chairman here in the APC and Republic? Well, I saw the, the video clip, or maybe I will say the interview granted to Mr. Bruno. Before today, before I saw the clip, nothing like grudges or anything like um, how would I put it uh, misunderstanding I don't see anything like that before though that man Mr. Bruno I know him very well and when he sees this video too or this interview I'm sure he knows me and he will not deny it when we started this we started together at uh, the present chairman I'll say or I would say the only chairman, because I don't recognize him or either, Mr. Bruno. I do not recognize him. Who elected him there? Who claimed he is the chairman? I had the, in the interview, he said he brought the uh, APC diaspora, the, is the one that organized it. If you organize it truly, does that mean you, are, you you have to head it, or you, you you install yourself as the chairman? It's not possible. And I would say this man has a lot of criminal uh, cases against him. That's why in Benin, in Benin, Benin. that's why he ran out. He ran away. And somebody like that. Instead of him to go and sit down quietly somewhere, hide his head, and maintain his life, rather than interfering in what will expose you, definitely people will be angered and they will expose him. A lot of things, like he, he knows it. During the interview that I, I, I saw, that they granted him, it was full of lies trying to bring to 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 bring people's heads together and destroy things. That is what I see. He is not the chairman. He collected money from students uh, in, in the school that, that he used his own bedroom flat, uh, his own house as university. Collected money from students. I introduced people to that school. He defrauded them, he collected money from them before, you know, all those things, instead of him to go and sit down somewhere and manage uh, the proceed of frauds, he now comes out again and starts to, trying, trying to destroy other people's lives. For what reason? And on the other hand, we paid him, I think, three three thousand or four four thousand sefa for ID card. Where's the money? Where's the ID card? Though he headed it that time, we did not make him the chairman. If you head an organization, does it does, does that mean you 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 have to be the chairman as well? It's people that have to decide. And at the idea more that time is not was not even the this the first chairman as he claimed in that video. It was um uh, a large what was the, uh, what was the name? He, he's dead now. He's dead now, was the chairman, then you know the secretary. Alaji is just the coordinator. I was there, I'm part of the, the coordinator at that time. We started together. So he, he used the platform 
to dupe people and run away. So when we are trying to put in the house together, we just saw the clip claiming it was the chairman. Who voted him? Who elected him as the chairman? Who recognized him? The article that we have today, it was provided by Elijah Adeyemo. Free! The t-shirts, the caps, the feeding, the transportation. What have you? He funded everything. Then we elected him at the Siama. In doing all those things, uh, spending his money doesn't make him the chairman. You know, as the other man claimed, doesn't make Elijah Adi anymore the chairman. But we elected him based on his performances. So why could people who might be thinking there is problem in chairmanship position of APC, diaspora, Bene? People might be thinking that there is problem there. No problem here. If truly is the chairman, let him come in and present himself as a chairman. Nobody is, 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 is dragging anything with him. Let him come. Let us see if truly is the chairman here. I will just give him an advice. I respected him so much and I hold him in high esteem. This video that I saw, uh, no, 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 no. He has already bastardized his reputation. He has already caused damage into his reputation in Benin. But this one added more problems to his own reputation. I don't know he was just a corny man like this. Okay, what, what are you fighting for? When they said they went to Nigeria during the first tenor of uh, our president, Obasanjo, during that campaign time, I, I had, I wasn't there, I had, uh, he collected money, millions of naira from them in Lagos, he was even asking for jeep, that without jeep, <laughs> nothing will be done that you need a jeep for campaigning what so he is ready to do everybody if you want to work as a chairman then a diaspora will you be in Nigeria and claiming you are the chairman of an organization uh, of another party of a party in another country. Throughout the whole exercise, the campaign, all those stuff, he wasn't here. Or would he say he wasn't aware? So if you are such a person that could lead people, why are you in the place you hide yourself in Badagri? Running from people. I told you I have two students that I introduced to the school, they are on me, which they uh, will still have to pay them. Let him come. He should not be going around and claiming what is not. He lied about so many things on that. It's his own personal life. It doesn't consign anybody. If you said you had businesses of millions in Benin and so on, it's his own personal life. It's not our own business. So, let's let just call the spirit the spirit he is nowhere to be called chairman here in Benin. Elijah Diem has done well he has performed very well after spending his money we decided to make him the chairman so that's all so which means uh, Elijah Diem is recognized chairman of yes. the NPC diaspora community. yes Yes, I'm still right here with one of the APC member uh, diaspora in the chapter. Ma'am, can you introduce yourself? Yes, my name is Lizzie Onyebolese. I'm a member of APC in the diaspora Benin Republic. So, uh, what can you tell us about the APC right under Mr. 
allergy at the end. <laughs> Funny this question. Uh, actually, I was introduced into this fora by Alaji Lawa. Um, I've never been a member of any political party. I got into this through him. And since I got into this APC, it has been wonderful. Because it's like Shifade Emo takes everybody, like one big family. I had in the past things they were doing, but this one is just totally different. And I see him as a good leader. Because how we organized the rally, we did all that we need to do to propagate APC here in Bene. He played a very pivotal role here, and I give it to him. He's the only chairman I know. I don't know of any. And like I said, I don't know what happened in the past. The one at present is what I know. And who I know as my chairman, APC Diaspora Bene Republic, is Chief Alaji Adeyemo. That's who I know. Any other thing you can tell us about the APC in diaspora? Well, APC in diaspora is a group of people who came together for the love of their country and for their president. And we all came together to see that we return our president to move Nigeria to the next level. And uh, moving Nigeria to the next level, we know that it's not been that easy but we ask Nigerians to be patient with our father, our president, President Muhammad Buhari, because he's taking us to that next level. The next level is that Nigerians will begin to reap the dividends of democracy. That is why APC here are doing much to bridge the gap between Nigerians here so that we now speak with one voice. If you come to this APC, you can never tell that they are Igbo, Yoruba, Hausa. No, 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 no. Everybody here is like one big family. And I think this is the message we all should be sending in diaspora to other countries, that there, there should be no difference between who we are, what tribe we belong to, but who we are as a Nigerian, and the collective unism of Nigerians to move our country forward. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, good afternoon. Maybe you, sir. Um, my name is Kola Ole Um I'm the director of Cape Lani South here in Republic of Benin, and then also the president of Afa Benin, a non-governmental organization registered in the Republic of Benin and in West Africa organization. And also, I'm the youth leader, uh, exactly. APC Diaspora. Yeah, exactly. I'm the youth leader, APC Diaspora okay. chapter. Benin Republic chapter. Benin Republic chapter. Okay. So, about the chairmanship position right here in APC Benin Republic chapter, there was a claim by one Dr. Bruno who said he is the APC chairman here in the Republic chapter. What can you say to that, sir? Well, um, this actually came to me as a very great, as a great surprise. Because, um, for instance, if, um, let's say, presently we have a president in Nigeria who is um, President Muhammad Buhari, um, we don't need any formal introduction to introduce um, or to tell even like to let people know that okay this is our president this is a, is, is a thing you see and how do you know um, President Buhari is our president because he maintained the office he played he discharged his duty as the leader of the country so this person you are talking about this actually came, that's why I said it came to me as this is a surprise to me because I don't even know who this person is in the sense that a lot of events has took place in the Republic of Benin, uh, Benin here regarding this um, um, just concluded election. And then in all the events and programs, I don't think um, I have come across anybody by this name you just mentioned to me. So I'm sorry, that name does not ring the bell, personally. Okay. So when did you join the ABC Diaspora of the Republic chapter? Uh, okay. Um, um, personally, as a person, my ambition in this political in the political um, system, I have a personal ambition, and then um, I was actually I became a full member of this um, APC diaspora um, in the month of December, I believe. And then when I received the call that um, okay, this is this is this is the things that is going on. I said okay, 
since I have the ambition also, then this should be a very good platform or a very good avenue for me to commence something towards my political ambition. And then that was how I, um, not that I'm not fully aware about this APC in diaspora, even other parties in the country, but um, I have not been part of the, 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 the should I say, the um, chapter until I am directly committed into the um, APC diaspora here in the Republic of Guinea. So, uh, what you are trying to tell us right here is that uh, Mr. Dr. Um, Alaji Adeyemo, he is the chairman of APC recognized by you, right? Not by me. <laughs> Even my children. If, if, I, if I ask my children now, who is the uh, chairman of uh, APC diaspora here in the Republic of Benin, they will not make a mistake. You know, when I say children, my children will not make the mistake. Why? Because of the impact. This is not an hidden thing. Like the instance I used earlier, like if I don't have to tell you who is um, um, Muhammad, our president, Buhari, everybody, everybody can say, okay, this is who this person is. So when I tell you I don't, that name you mentioned earlier does not ring a bell. And the only person I knew as the um, APC in diaspora here in the Republic of Benin is um, uh, my honorable chairman, Adeyemo. You know, Mr. Bruno uh, is said to be the former chairman of APC Diaspora, the Republic chapter. So he might be claiming he is the chairman because uh, he was the chairman before the election of uh, Mr. Adeyemo. Okay. So you know, uh, being the former chairman and claiming that he handed over power to the current chairman, who was then the vice chairman to him? Hmm. So, mm -hmm. can you tell us anything about uh, that? Um, concerning this question, that is a very good question. And then I believe, even there's no sane man that would not like to be part of something good. I believe this person you you are trying to like that is claiming to be the chairman. Um, saw the the impact of the present tenor. The impact was so impressive. My brother, there is, I'm, I'm a Yoruba man, and then there is a saying that um, that said, when you are doing well, everybody wants to be part of that thing you are doing, or everybody wants to wants to be acknowledged by you. Why? Because they knew you are doing well. If, for instance, um, the pre um, current chairman is not doing well. I don't think someone will come from nowhere trying to... I don't know if you are getting the point. So I believe the, 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 the present impact is what actually triggered this whole thing. But if you want to be part of something good, it will be good when you go about it in the right way. Not trying to um, degrade the collective effort that was well delivered. So you, I, 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 I believe I'm trying to make a point. Yes, so that is the reason why we don't even have to entertain what is not worth it. Because, okay, for instance, like from the live in interview I also uh, I saw, like um, this person trying to maintain, this is a democracy. When we talk about democracy, I, I believe anything that has to do with um, political system, there is no, it's not a family um, responsibility. And then at the, at the right time when you are called to, to render this free will service to your society or to your um, country, I believe it's a willing thing. And it's not a thing like, it's not like a chief, chief title title. So maybe you have used your tenor. Uh, if someone else is trying to, or is using his tenor at the right time, the only thing you can do is to give that person support or you encourage them for them to do the best, even though you cannot do what they have done. But when you give them your support, as a person that has been there, or because I don't really understand how, when this man is doing this thing, he's doing this thing the best way he could do it, and he handled the, every section of it the best way. I believe the impact is is glaring. So right now, the Mr. DMO is the person you are confirming to be the chairman. Yeah, definitely, APC, that's definitely. That is the only known um, APC chairman in the Raya Republic of Benin. Not by me, not by my family. And then I believe known by the majority, majority of, 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 of the members, mm -hmm. even of the people, because the impact right there, the impact is too glaring. 
So the impact, you know, when you do something good, your result attracts people to your glory. So why are we having this uh, chairmanship uh, issue right here in APC diaspora? Is it because maybe the uh, former chairman maybe he relocated from Benin Republic, or maybe you should just shed more light on that? Um, okay. Um, personally, if relocation is the cause of this whole issue. I believe that should be a kind of um, it should be an issue that can actually be addressed within the circle. In, in what sense? Okay, but personally, I don't think is reloc uh, relocation has nothing to do with this. Why? Because if the former, if the person is claiming to be the former chairman or the former chairman of this APC in Diaspora Republic of Benin relocated to Badagri, Badagri from Kotonou here to Badagri is let's say maximum under an hour you should be able to be in Badagri or you move from Kotonou or you move from Badagri to Kotonou maximum one hour so what stops you I have, I have I, there are some people I knew that work in um, Badagri but they are living here in Kotonou and they work in Badagri some work at the border so that is to show you the, 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 how the distance how short the distance is so if as the chairman of this um, APC in diaspora and then you now relocated to um, Badagri, that doesn't cost anything. If we have like, okay, for instance, when we have general meetings, there are a lot of meetings has, has been held and then I have not even had any encounter with him. Is that possible? Since when? Since, like, yes, even the whole, the whole program, there's no encounter with him. You have not attended any meeting, even when we do the general rally. You are nowhere to be found, and we have some delegates from Badagri. Even the um, uh, the chairman of Badagri local government was also here in person. So, if if somebody that holds such post as the chairman of um, Badagri can attend, can honor the program, the um, the rally that was held here in Kotonou, then if you are the chairman of this party or here in the, um, the um, diaspora then what stops you from attending such program? And that is not the only program that was held here. So I, I, I don't think there is any reason why, if truly he is the chairman, like he claimed, I don't think that anything stops him from attending every program or from coordinating all the programs that was actually um, organized here in Republic of Benin. So for him not to be there, why, what was he waiting for? So definitely he's waiting for the glory. And then now that the glory is there, he's trying to tap into the glory. But if you want to tap into the glory, it's a good thing. Why? Because everybody knew um, APC in Diaspora, been a Republic chapter, they did wonderful. They did wonderful. They were able to deliver. And if you want to be part of the glory, you can do this in a more mature way and in a, in a better way that will even give you um, good position instead of trying to creates unnecessary awareness. Even when I listen to the, um, to the live um, interview, um, you're trying to condemn your cabinet. These are the cabinets you claim to form. You formed the cabinet and you are still the same person condemning the cabinet. How does that work? You're saying um, there are a bunch of illiterates. You created a bunch of, you brought, you brought together the bunch of illiterates. You, you are the chairman of the bunch of the literate. And then when you are leaving from the live interview, you said you handed over to the vice chairman, who is also the, um, a, a, a good illiterate, like you said in your interview. So who are you? If the people you deal with are a bunch of illiterates, you hand over to an illiterate. As an elite, if you want to hand over, you think you feel these people are illiterate. You are not supposed to hand over to, the, to illiterate, but you said you hand over to an illiterate who, who, who betrayed you. Which I believe those are just um, make-up so story. So you cannot tell me you, you you hand over to an illiterate and you're a learned person. How do you do that? And then during your tenure as the chairman, you are unable to do what the current illiterates are able to deliver. I don't know if if this is passing the message. What we need is results. What we need is the outcome. You don't just maintain. You don't occupy position. What we need is delivery. So if the illiterate can even do better than you, because if this illiterate failed woefully, I don't think there will be any reason why he should come up to try to counter this whole effort. 
but it's because the illiterate happen to deliver beyond his imagination. Beyond, I don't think he is able to achieve to this to this extent during his tenure. So if he is able to do more than this, then he should be able to tell the illiterate, "Oh, good illiterate, I have been able to train you. Kudos to you because you have been able to to learn something." But he couldn't do all these things. But the illiterate were able to achieve greater heights. So you condemn your cabinet, which you claim you, you created. How does that sound? You condemn your vice, you condemn your secretary, you condemn every member of the cabinet. So what does that mean? I think I have to rest my case there. Clevnard Open Project for Africa. We invite the general public to a full day African event. Entry is free. African music and art, cultural dance, drama, cultural dress, Africa food, exposing our cultural wealth, integrating into our communities, uniting Africans. Clevnard Open Project, uniting Africans, exposing our cultural wealth, integrating into our communities in Spain. Happy to open our hearts and share it with all citizens. For more info, 34-643-553-850. Event address, Calle Candomenge, number one, Palma de Mallorca, 07003, Spain.